Constant Cash Fourth E Stimulus Check Update 2023. Millions to see one time direct payments up to $13 from $1 pot. See if you qualify. Millions of Americans could be eligible for one time direct payments of up to $13 as part of a new stimulus package called Constant Cash. The program, which was created by President Biden, will provide payments to low and middle income families who are struggling to make ends meet due to the rising cost of living. To be eligible for a payment, you must meet the following criteria. You must be a U, citizen or permanent resident. You must have a valid social security number. Your income must be below certain limits. The amount of your payment will be based on your income and family size. For example, a single person with an income below $50,000 would receive a payment of $1,300. A family of four with an income below $100,000 would receive a payment of $4,000. Payments are expected to start going out in the early summer of 2023. If you are eligible for a payment, you do not need to do anything to apply. The payments will be made automatically to the bank account that you use to file your taxes. For more information about the Constant Cash Stimulus Package, watch this video until end. Welcome to my channel your go-to channel for all things stimulus check updates and social security. In a groundbreaking announcement, Minnesota state officials have revealed a massive $1.1 billion stimulus package, making every American eligible for a one-time payment worth up to $1,300. This eagerly anticipated windfall is set to bring joy and financial relief to 2.5 million residents across the state. The payments, ranging from $260 to $13, will vary based on family size and filing status. With such a significant sum at stake, many are eagerly awaiting their share of this economic boost. But fear not, as the authorities have devised a well-structured plan to ensure the smooth and efficient distribution of these payments. Starting in the autumn, the stimulus checks will be distributed in 10 waves, each spanning over 10 days. This systematic approach ensures that every eligible resident receives their well-deserved payment. The Minnesota Public Radio has reported on the tenacious efforts of officials, who are diligently working to expedite the process and minimize any delays. What sets this program apart is the absence of a lengthy application process. In a bid to simplify the reimbursement process, the Department of Revenue will determine payments based on the adjusted gross income, a GII from 2021 tax forms. This means that individuals won't have to endure arduous paperwork or jump through hoops to claim their share. Instead, they can rest easy, knowing that their eligibility will be automatically assessed. For those concerned about their eligibility or the status of their payment, the Internal Revenue Service, IRSA, has provided valuable resources. If you received two important letters regarding stimulus and child tax credit payments in 2022, specifically letter 6,475, you can determine your eligibility for the recovery rebate credit on your 2021 tax return. This letter also provides detailed instructions on how to claim your payment when filing your taxes. In the event that you did not receive a letter, fret not. You can easily check your status through the Economic Impact Payment Information section on the tax records page. Additionally, parents can utilize the IRS Child Tax Credit Portal to conveniently view their payments through their online accounts. Now, you may be wondering if it's too late to claim your deserved stimulus payment. The answer is a resounding no. Although the tax deadline has passed, there is still an opportunity for eligible Americans to claim their owed stimulus payments. As long as your income falls below $75,000 or $150,000 for couples, you can secure the maximum benefit from the latest stimulus round. The amount of the $1,400 check begins to phase out for incomes beyond these thresholds and is eventually capped at $80,000 and $160,000 for individuals and couples, respectively. This stimulus program marks yet another significant milestone in the government's efforts to provide economic relief to its citizens. A recent report from the Government Accountability Office, GAO, revealed that an estimated 165 million Americans have already received an astounding $931 billion worth of payments through three previous stimulus rounds, spanning from April 2, 2020 to 2021. 
However, the GAO estimates that there are still between 9 and 10 million Americans who have yet to receive their stimulus checks, highlighting the importance of these ongoing efforts. In a broader context, this initiative reflects a growing trend towards the implementation of universal basic income, UBII, across the nation. While it is unlikely that another federal stimulus package will be passed, various states and cities have taken the lead by providing UBI payments or guaranteed income to their citizens. The U.S. Sun has compiled a list of over 40 examples of UBII, including states like Alaska, Arizona, and Georgia, each playing their part in ensuring economic stability and security for their residents. While financial relief is on the horizon, it's important to acknowledge the current economic challenges faced by many sectors, including rising inflation rates in various industries, such as gas prices. In light of recent events, such as Russia's invasion of Ukraine, gas prices reached unprecedented levels. Although they have since subsided, April 2023 still saw an average cost per gallon of $3.66, representing a staggering 54% increase compared to early 2021. In a separate endeavor to support businesses and encourage job retention, the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security, CARES, Act of 2020 introduced employee retention credit. This initiative aimed to incentivize businesses to maintain their workforce, even amidst the challenges posed by the pandemic. Remarkably, businesses are still benefiting from these incentives today as they continue to navigate the recovery phase. To qualify, businesses must have experienced significant revenue declines during the pandemic or were subject to government-mandated lockdowns. Additionally, businesses that commenced operations during the pandemic are also eligible for these credits. Moreover, exciting opportunities are emerging at the state level for those interested in sustainable transportation. Rhode Island, for example, has introduced a groundbreaking program that offers residents rebates of up to $2,500 for the purchase of electric vehicles. Eligible drivers can take advantage of this generous offer, receiving substantial financial incentives for both new and used electric vehicles. The program, which launched in July, has already dispersed $1.25 million to residents. Interested applicants can still apply online, but it's essential to act quickly as rebates are awarded on a first-come, first-served basis, contingent upon funding availability. Additionally, Boulder, Colorado has implemented a commendable initiative to alleviate the burden of taxes paid on food. Residents can now apply online for the 2023 cash rebate, providing significant relief to families. This year, eligible individuals can receive $99, while families of four can expect $302. To qualify, the annual income must not exceed $43,900 for individuals and $62,700 for a family of four. These recent developments undoubtedly signal a shift towards prioritizing the well-being of individuals and communities. As the nation continues to recover from the challenges posed by the pandemic, initiatives like these ensure that Americans receive the support they need, bolstering their financial security and promoting a brighter future for all. Stay tuned for more exciting updates on economic developments and initiatives designed to uplift citizens across the country. Thank you for joining me, your go-to channel for all things stimulus checks and personal finance tips. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.